Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. The moments here, the CM, we are talking about CG and the CM variation with angle of attack should be negative for a statically stable system and the CM naught should be greater than 0, right. So what should be the CG location in order to have the CM alpha 0 and CM naught greater than 0, CM alpha less than 0 and CM, CM naught greater than 0, right. So let us look into that. So, what is the condition criteria for static stability? Static. So, Cm alpha has to be less than 0, Cm naught should be greater than 0. So let us say this is your UAV, you have a wing and tail, right. So the when we are talking about longitudinal static stability, so let us talk about longitudinal condition. Okay. So, longitudinal case is the motion in this vertical plane, right. That means it can translate front and back, go up and down, right. I mean, go up and down in the sense it can perform a loop in this blackboard, in this plane, right. The, we have a plane of symmetry for this aircraft, right. So, if we say, if you take a plane, a vertical plane, so, which is cutting this aircraft exactly at this center line, right. So, about this plane, you have a symmetry, right. This plane of symmetry is known as the motion along this plane of symmetry is the longitudinal motion. Okay. So, that means, so in this vertical plane, it can do pitch up, pitch down, that means a rotation, go front and back, move up and down. So, these are the three motions in this longitudinal plane. So, this motion about plane of symmetry, it is a motion in plane of symmetry, right. How many motions? 3 of, 3 degrees of freedom. So, 2 translation, 1 rotation. Okay. Now, let us assume I cut this aircraft at this plane of symmetry and the say the aircraft has a CG located at some location uh, at some point here with respect to the leading edge, right. This is your CG. Now, when you are talking about longitudinal stability, which means what are the forces in this longitudinal plane? One is the weight, other one is the lift from the wing and lift from the tail and say the you have a pitching moment about the aerodynamic center of the wing, right. And generally tail is a symmetric aerofoil. So, the purpose of this tail is to create a moment rather than generating the force, generating a greater force. So, it is like creating a moment by generating a smaller force about the CG. Now, let us assume this as fuselage reference line FRL. Okay. 
So, in some cases, you also encounter I of W, that is inclination of wing with respect to this fuselage reference line. What is your wing setting angle? I of W, right? So, this is your V infinity and say this particular angle is your, say if I define angle of attack with respect to fuselage reference line, this is your alpha with respect to FRL. So, the total angle of attack at the wing will be I of W plus alpha. Okay. Now, for this case what we assume is this FRL and the wing cord are along the same line. I am so I am representing this whole wing as by means of this aerofoil which is a root cord aerofoil right this is your root cord so the root cord so this is your root cord it is a straight line joining the leading edge and the trailing edge of this root cord. the root cord and this fuselage reference line are aligned with each other right they both coincide so whatever the angle of attack that you see here is with respect to alpha right so that iw you can incorporate at any time right so say this is your aerodynamic center of the wing this is measured parallel to this fuselage reference line x a c of wing this is your aerodynamic center right this is your x a c of wing say this is your c g location of your c g so this is x c g with respect to this leading edge right so now let us not consider the tail let us see this is a wing alone right it is a wing alone system we need to know how it fly right so the wing alone can also fly Let's see what should be the cg condition how to get this cm alpha negative and cm not positive to make it statically stable So, when I say there is a flow, there is a lift acting perpendicular to V infinity and there is a drag, right. And also about aerodynamic center, we have something called moment, moment about aerodynamic center of the wing. Do you accept this? Now, if I write moment about CG of the aircraft, see moment about CG when I say it is about the, it is for the entire aircraft, I am not exclusively writing this, otherwise you can say moment about A by C is the aircraft, where A by C represents aircraft or UAV. Okay. This equals to, so this is the moment about CG, right. So, there is a moment about aerodynamic center of the wing, moment about AC of wing, right, as it is, plus, why plus, because the lift, so the, I should take the component of this forces acting perpendicular to this fuselage reference line, right. So, what is the perpendicular to this fuselage reference line? So, this is your fuselage perpendicular to fuselage reference line. So, the component of L along this perpendicular and the D along this perpendicular which is L cos alpha plus D sin alpha right, into this is a total force acting multiplied by the distance between this AC and CG which is XCG minus XAC of the wing. So, this is XCG minus x a c of the wing right this i can 
expressed in a non-dimensional form CM about CG of the aircraft or CMCC, CG is equals to half rho V square S into CMAC of wing right, into C bar, sorry please make a correction, it is a C, I, I missed C bar here. So, half rho v square s into c bar into cmcg is equals to half rho v square s into cmac into c bar, right? Plus half rho v square s into cl cos alpha plus cd sin alpha into xcg minus xcac of wing, right? Now, what is CMCG? CMCG is equals to CMAC of wing. So, by the way, the moment, so the reference area for this moment is a wing area, wing platform area, and the dynamic pressure is a dynamic pressure faced by the wing here, right? The reference dynamic pressure, half rho v square s into CMCG. This is because we are talking about moment due to aerodynamic forces about CG is equals to moment about moment coefficient about wing aerodynamic center plus CL cos alpha cos alpha plus CD sin alpha into the distance x bar x bar cg minus x bar ac of wing where x bar is equals to x by c bar. We are talking stability about this equilibrium, right? So, this alpha is small, we assume the alpha is small or say initially it is trimmed. Now, we write the moment equation about this change in alpha which is delta alpha, right? So, what is the change in the force, how this change in the force is doing, right, is doing, is going to, is going to affect the stability of the system. See, we talk about perturbation, about some equilibrium, right. So, let us say C L is the lift generated due to a perturbed delta alpha. Right? Initially, the moment is 0, that is a equilibrium. Now, say alpha is the perturbed alpha itself, whatever the alpha that you have. So, assuming alpha is small. right what you have is cl cos alpha is 1 when alpha is small and sin alpha is alpha cd into alpha is further small compared to cl so you can neglect this particular term so what you have is cmcg is equals to cmac of wing plus cl into x bar cg minus CL of wing here, CL of wing, CD of wing. So, I am sorry, I forgot to mention this. This is CL of wing and CD of wing. Right. CL of wing and CD. So, X bar CG minus X bar AC of wing. Right? So, can I express this entire pitching moment of the aircraft as C m naught of the aircraft or C m naught about C g and C m alpha about C g into alpha. This is equals to C m of C m about aerodynamic center of wing plus what is this C l of wing? C l naught of wing plus C l alpha of wing into alpha of wing into x bar C g minus x bar A c. AC of wing so where the cm naught of this aircraft is cm ac of wing plus cl naught of wing into x bar cg minus x bar ac of wing by comparing the constant and coefficients here Right. CM alpha of the aircraft is CL alpha 
of the wing into x bar C G minus x bar A C of wing. Am I correct? See, we ultimately need what is the C M alpha and C M naught of the aircraft. So, we are trying to arrive at that condition. So, for a static stable system, let us say if this wing alone has to be statically stable. So, you can assume this is a, it's a big wing, right. You can assume it as a big wing, the same wing what we have here, right, and the CG for that. You understand this? You assume there is a wing on either side and the CG along this axis. And the wing is coming out in this direction, right. Now, what should be the CG location in order to make have, have a stable flight? Right. So, this is a wing alone configuration, right? So, this CM naught is, is depends upon the CM AC of the wing plus CL naught of the wing into x bar CG minus x bar AC. If this has to be positive, but let us look at what is CM AC of wing. If I take a symmetric wing, the bottom one is a cambered wing, and the top one is a symmetric wing. a symmetric wing you can see. So, for a symmetric wing the moment about aerodynamic center of wing is 0 right. For a cambered wing it is negative. This is a cambered wing you can see it is a cambered aerofoil and this is a symmetric aerofoil. So, this is negative for this the moment about this aerodynamic center is always a ne negative quantity here it is 0 right. So, say if you have a symmetric wing, what you have is C mod C M about aerodynamic center of wing is 0, right. So, in that case what happens? So, this is your ST1 stability right and tail sizing will perform from there. This is your ST2, ST3 say stability equation 3, this is your ST4, this is your stability equation 2 or say this is your stability equation to st2 right st2 st3 st4 right. from st3 and st4 what you have is cm naught is equals to cm ac is zero for a symmetric wing so cl of wing into x bar sorry cl naught of the wing right into x bar cg minus x bar ac of wing, but for a symmetric wing C L naught is equals to 0, right. Lift coefficient at 0 angle of attack is also 0, there is no lift at 0 alpha. So, C M naught is 0 for a symmetric profile. So, for a aircraft C in our previous case when we are talking about C M versus alpha variation, we witnessed like C M naught is 0, when that can happen when you have a symmetric wing, right. But to trim it at a positive angle of attack, you need to produce a continuous negative elevator deflection that gives you a positive moment to trim at a positive angle. That is a that is again if you are trimming elevator at a particular uh, delta I mean deflection, you are, if you are trimming the elevator that means you are giving constant deflection right. That means increasing the drag drag there induced drag at the tail. Right. So, the overall drag is also increasing that is a penalty that you need to pay if you are going for a symmetric error. So, C m naught is 0, what is C m alpha? C l alpha of wing into x bar C g minus x bar A c of wing. So, this quantity is not 0 because this slope lift curve slope is positive. So, this particular quantity has to be 0 that means the aerodynamic center should be should be greater than the C G. When it can be greater than that means the C G has to be ahead of this aerodynamic center. Then you will have C M alpha negative. 
but again you cannot fly at positive angle of attack for this wing which is symmetric with a symmetric profile. So, in one case we I try to bring it to the aerodynamic center C g to the aerodynamic center right. So, in that case it is continuously dipping dipping down right. So, when I make it bit ahead and gave certain angle of attack during the flight right that means I am throwing it horizontal, but orienting it at a particular angle then it will glide to certain extent after that it will try to yeah because as the angle of attack changes you have negative moment here with the increase in angle of attack you have negative so, understand. So, for an acrobatic aircraft you need to produce equal force on either sides. So, what is uh, so let us say if you performed a role right. So, this the aerofoil in this orientation should also produce equal lift I mean lift equal to the weight that means, so if you for a acrobatic aircraft or a 3D aircraft you need to use a symmetric aerofoil here symmetric profile that produces equal force on either side. So, if the C if the AC is ahead of the CG you have CM alpha negative right for a wing alone configuration to be stable the aerodynamic center should be ahead of the CG. So, in the other case where the CM uh, so, in the cambered aerofoil case where the CM about aerodynamic center is negative if your symmetric cambered wing cambered wing CM naught is equals to CM AC of wing plus CL naught into X of wing into X bar CG minus X bar AC right and CM alpha is equals to minus sorry C L naught of wing C L alpha of wing into multiplied by C of wing. So, for a cambered wing the C if for C M alpha to be negative I need to have since it is a wing alone configuration irrespective whether it is a cambered or not I need to have aerodynamic center ahead of the uh, C G ahead of the aerodynamic center to make it negative. So, this particular quantity is negative C L naught is positive for a cambered aerofoil. So, this particular quantity is negative and C M A C of wing is negative for a symmetric aerofoil. So, C M A C is negative for cambered aerofoil positively cambered aerofoil. So, this C M naught is becoming negative that means you will not be able to trim at positive angles of attack. So, for a wing alone UAV the in the introductory lecture we witnessed the flight test of a wing alone UAV right. So, for that UAV if you want to design such a UAV you need to use a reflex aerofoil and this static margin or the. So, in this case like the distance between C G and A C should you should choose such a way that the C M naught will be positive is a marginally stable marginally ahead and this quantity should be higher than the product of this quantity ok. So, otherwise you have to hold elevator up continuously. got it right. So, for a wing alone configuration to make it stable you need to use a reflex aerofoil where the CMAC is positive in that case. So, one such reflex aerofoil is NACA 23112 you can note it down. So, NACA 23112 NACA 23112 for reflex for positive C M A C right for positive to C M A C. Now, let us now add a tail tail to it right see it is a symmetric aerofoil right this is your cord of the tail. So, this angle is known as tail setting angle I of t the angle made by this cord of the tail with respect to fuse loss reflection line is known as tail setting. Now, again this is your V infinity here this is your V infinity V infinity free stream velocity, but we also studied about this this is a wing three dimensional wing you have a down wash and up wash effect right. So, induced down wash you will have what is a induced down wash here at the tail because of the presence of the wing ok. So, because of which 
there is a downwash at the tail that that reduces the angle of attack what is downwash this is the downwash that's a downward flow so so the resultant vector will be so this will be the resultant vector v in, so v infinity prime is the actual velocity here so the resultant vector at uh, velocity vector at this tail is so v infinity is the actual velo flight velocity and v infinity prime is the resultant velocity at the tail because of its downwash yes sir. so the angle induced by this downwash is epsilon right so this now it becomes it become bit flatter right the v infinity prime will make a lesser angle compared to v infinity these two are parallel and this angle is epsilon so initially ideally this this is your alpha t right v in, with respect to v infinity and fuselage reference line this is your alpha say this is your v infinity right this is your alpha this angle is your alpha right now what is the angle of attack for the tail this this is your total angle of attack for the tail angle of attack is a chord angle made by the chord of the tail with respect to the free stream velocity resultant free stream velocity here that is v infinity prime this is your alpha t right so what is alpha t see this i of t plus this angle is a angle there is a resultant angle here which is alpha minus epsilon this is alpha minus epsilon okay so alpha at the t is alpha minus epsilon plus i of t so this is a alpha at the wing okay where epsilon you can express this as the downwash do epsilon by do alpha into alpha this we already discussed so during this discussion we will neglect epsilon not will be which is very very small right and we know how to get do epsilon by do alpha from thinner of all theory we discussed in our previous lectures now what will be the so the angle of attack effective angle of attack with respect to fuselage reference line is reduced here right so ideally this will be your lift that is generated at the tail see which is perpendicular to this yellow line this is your free stream at the tail this is your lift at the tail and say if you consider the magnitude it will be less than the wing right and you have drag at the tail right now let us look at the moment equation about cg or say what is the total lift of this aircraft lift of the aircraft is equals to lift of wing plus lift of tail right S simple right there are two forces upward forces acting here there is a lift from the wing and the lift from the tail the summation of both or principle of superposition here so this is half rho v square s into cl of aircraft is equals to half rho v square s into cl of wing plus half rho v, v infinity prime square s of t because tail area is different compared to wing area s of t into cl of tail okay so if i express the non dimensional lift coefficient of the entire aircraft is equals to cl of wing plus half rho or say eta st by s into cl of tail where eta is equals to half rho v infinity prime square divided by half rho v infinity square it's a tail efficiency tail efficiency factor 
So, CL of the aircraft can be expressed as CL naught of the aircraft plus CL alpha into alpha of the entire aircraft, right, which is equal to CL of wing can be expressed CL naught of wing plus CL alpha of wing into alpha of wing plus eta ST by S into CL alpha of tail into alpha of tail because CL naught of tail is 0 because we are using a symmetric tail here. So, CL naught of wing plus CL alpha of wing into alpha of wing plus eta you consider this as your so stability equation phi. So, this is your stability equation 6. So, this is your stability equation 7. is equals to eta into S T by S into C L alpha of tail. What is alpha of tail? I of T plus alpha minus epsilon. This and I can express it as I of T plus. So, with the help of this okay, C L naught of wing plus eta S T by S into C L alpha of tail right, into I of T plus C L alpha of wing plus eta S T by S into C L alpha of tail into 1 minus dou epsilon by dou alpha into alpha 1 minus dou epsilon by dou alpha into alpha eta S T by S into C L alpha of tail 1 minus 2 epsilon by alpha into alpha, where I am taking alpha common. Uh, so, substituting what is epsilon here by assuming epsilon naught as 0 here, you substitute what is epsilon, you take alpha common now, common from that what you are going to get is and separating the constant and the coefficients of alpha, right. So, this is C L of the entire aircraft. So, consider this as stability equation 8 right ok. Now, comparing S T 7 and S T 8 what you have is C L naught of the entire aircraft is equals to C L naught of wing plus eta S T by S into C L alpha of tail into I of T right and C L alpha of the entire aircraft is equals to C L alpha of wing plus eta S T by S into C L alpha of tail into 1 minus dou epsilon by dou alpha. These are two equations S T 9 and S T 10, stability 9 and 10. Now, let us look at moment about C G because of the addition of tail how the pitching moment is changing. So, moment about C G for this wing and tail combination is again even in this case what we do is see further the angle is very very small here. So, we need to resolve this L T perpendicular to this V infinity right. I mean while taking the moments we need to resolve perpendicular to this fuselage reference line okay. and this particular distance this particular aerodynamic center distance measured parallel to this fuselage reference line is x a c of tail. So, so, this is your aerodynamic center of tail this corresponding distance is x a c of tail here. Okay. 
I forgot to mention it, please make a note of it. Now, moment about CG is moment about aerodynamic center of B. So, let us consider only the lift components and cos alpha in either case the change in the alpha is small. So, let us consider only the lift directly. So, that is how uh, the end result will also have the same components like the cos alpha will be considered as 1 and lift will be the corresponding contributor for pitching moment in this case. C, CM about AC minus L of wing sorry plus L of wing into x a c of wing x c g minus x a c of wing minus L of t into x a c of tail minus x c g am I correct? Why because the about c g this lift of tail is giving you a negative moment. So, L of t cos alpha cos of epsilon minus alpha or alpha minus epsilon which is considering it is a small quantity. So, it will be L of t cos alpha and d C d into this epsilon minus al alpha minus epsilon is further small. So, we neglected the other term here track contribution. So, L of wing into x c g minus x a c minus L of t into x a c minus or x a c of tail minus x a c here. So, if you non dimensionalize this, this is C m about c g is equals to C m about a c of wing plus C l of wing into x bar c g minus x bar a c of wing minus. So, this you consider this equation as ST 11 or 10 ST 11. So, consider this as ST 11 this equation stability 11 right. This is like eta ST by S into C L of tail x bar A C of tail minus x bar C G. So, this ST by by S into x a x a c of t. So, generally L of t length of tail is considered as the distance between aerodynamic center of tail minus x c g right x a. So, the tail volume ratio is now defined as S t by S into L of t by C bar right this is considered as tail volume ratio please make a note of it right. But I am not going to use this LT or VH here in this case. So, we will see why why we are not going to use CMCG is equals to CMAC of wing plus CL CL of wing which is C L naught of wing plus C L alpha into alpha of wing multiplied by the moment arm corresponding moment arm which is x c g x bar c g minus x bar a c minus eta because lift uh, lift from the tail is negative uh, contribute towards negative pitching moment but eta s t by s into C L alpha of tail into x bar a c of tail minus x bar c g into the alpha into al multiplied by alpha of tail right. This implies C m about c g is equals to C m about a c of wing plus C l naught of wing plus C l alpha into alpha of wing into x bar c g minus x bar a c of wing right minus eta s t by s into C l alpha of tail into x bar a c of tail minus x bar c g into alpha of tail is 1 minus dou epsilon by dou alpha into alpha plus i of t so 
consider this as this equation as stability so we know the pitching moment coefficient about cg is equals to cm not about cg plus cm alpha into alpha right of the entire aircraft this is cg is about uh, for the entire aircraft right now comparing these two equations what we have is cm not of the aircraft is cm ac of wing plus cl not of wing into x bar cg minus x bar ac ac of wing right minus eta st by s cl alpha of tail into x bar c ac of tail minus x bar cg into i of t right similarly cm alpha of the aircraft is equals to cl alpha of the wing into x bar cg minus x bar ac of wing minus the tail contribution eta st by s cl alpha of tail into x bar cg minus x bar ac of tail minus x bar cg multiplied by 1 minus do epsilon by do alpha so these are the stability equations static stability equations for wing and tail combination so consider them as st13 and 14 this is stability 13 and this is stability 14 now let us look at this equations the cm about aerodynamic center of the wing is negative right cl not is positive and in this case if the cg is behind the ac this is positive so this contributes towards a positive term a bigger positive term in fact because cm ac is far weaker than this right and eta minus eta st by s into cl alpha of tail if the aerodynamics so this is also a positive quantity these are all positive st by s so the only thing is negative here is i of t if you have i of t negative it becomes positive so this becomes positive term see if i of t is zero let us say so you sh you should have this cm not from the wing alone cm not required cm not that y intercept in that curve cm versus alpha need to be produced from the positive y intercept only from this term these two terms this is negative right for a cambered aerofoil you need to design your the distance between you need to locate your cg of the you, aircraft or the uav in such a way that this particular term is positive enough right big enough to overcome this negative quantity if i of t is zero at zero tail setting angle what happens in this case cm alpha say if the cg is behind the aerodynamic center this is positive cl alpha of wing is positive so this particular term is positive so so i need to have enough distance x ac of tail minus x cg and the corresponding tail volume ratio here right the yeah which is multiplied by st by s right if this momentum multiplied by non dimensional momentum multiplied by st by s is the tail volume ratio so you should have enough tail volume ratio to give a cm alpha negative so the typical values of this tail efficiency factor is around 0.9 0.95 right so you need to locate your cg to make this condition satisfied so we have the conditions for stable and unstable right so do you have something called in between these two a limiting condition for this we we have something called neutrally stable system for example for example if i take this tape it's a two sided tape right so if i take this roll and start throwing it on this table right so so this is one equilibrium let us say now it is at rest now if i apply small force okay 
it has gone down okay it has become so what happens is if i apply a small force it will go and stop at a different location so this is a tape if i roll it down so yes it reached a different look equilibrium point right so it altogether attained a new equilibrium point right so it is neither unstable nor the stable it has achieved a new equilibrium point we can't comment about stability about this particular point so this is a limiting condition for this stability stable and unstable system called neutral stable system where if you just apply see this is also a stable case here if i apply a force it is attaining a new equilibrium here right so this particular condition is known as neutrally stable condition